Hello chums, it's Tori here and we are back with Life is Strange. Oh, well, what's going on here? Seems there's a heated debate going on. Is Mr. Jefferson having a go at the principal for firing him? No, he didn't fire him, did he? He just told him he couldn't go to that competition. Oh gosh, that was so long ago I can't remember. Well, who's this guy? He's just, just some fat nerd just sat under the tree looking sad. None of these kids look like actual kids that would be at a school. I'm sorry, but they all look so surreal. Mind you, I, I don't go to school in hey, America, Max. so... How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. I Jefferson. did nothing. I'm okay. I'm sorry, um, I, I ruined your, and this your is my competition. friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to black? Oh, fuck off. I was off. way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? Hmm. It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds. Life has to go well, on. Why is he being so nice to us? There's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I bet he does. He's planning something. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a No, you're friend. not. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Oh, come on. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seen. He was yes, really well. angry at us. We saw him in one of the awesome episodes. Teacher. Complaining about you are out of control, you know. Yet. Just wait until the rage. Oh my god, it's so hard to think Shut when they're talking. Up. Don't be jealous because Mark <laughs> Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignorant. I don't trust time. him. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Right, can I actually talk now, you wenches? Jeez, Louise. Yeah, we saw at one of the end of the episodes. I think Let's it was. See if I can find out where Nathan is. Seriously, woman. Episode three, he was like arguing with the principal, and then he drove off angrily. I'm sorry, but he was. The competition was a big thing to Jefferson, and the fact we stopped him going. He's not just going to be like, "Hey, that's all good. I don't mind." Right, where's what's her face? Because she's probably around here somewhere, about to get smacked in the head. She usually is. Hello. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Maybe he's high. Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. That's an awesome shirt you're wearing. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Okay, that didn't quite work out. Alright, you big bumhead. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Oh god, I just don't care about these students at all. I think I just want them all to die in a horrible fire. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. <laughs> I'm horrible, I know, but I'm just not feeling it today. That's Who? so ironic that Warren asked Matt. Hey, Brooke. What? How are Excuse you? me? I'm I here heard as that. usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Um, whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Hmm, he asked you? Oh, he asked Oh, come you. on, Max, you're not a scientist. You no, know, science geeks stick together. See? But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. Was the voice actor channeling Velma when she did her voice? Jesus. Voice actress, I should say. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him. Oh. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. 
Warren's not good enough for you? Oh my god, shut up, okay. bitch. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Oh, come on. Just because I'm better looking than you isn't my problem. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone... Wow, is... someone's a bitch. Gosh, Nathan is not around. I should go back to talk to you later, Max. Wait, hang on. Wasn't there something extra to say? Oh, I don't know. Neither do I really care. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. <laughs> Sad. Makes me mad. Can I just smash this drone? Let me uh, smash it. Everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. Oh come on! How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Eh, could have yes, been better, Harris, Samuel. How All this talking you? stuff bores me. Sad, I'm sorry. Confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. No, really, to be honest, I'm just, I'm full of flu and I feel sick. I don't really want to talk to any of yous, but the game is making me. So, animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Oh, dead birds. What oh, no, his squirrels. Those dying birds? We should ask about the squirrels. Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Tabanga? Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. I want to ask about squirrels. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. They're his spirit animal. Me too. If something happened to them... I don't know what I'd do with myself. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Greedy little bastards. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Oh, that's so cute. So kawaii, that's you. Look at him run, little fucker. It's like, yeah, food. Is that a donut? As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. What's this food? Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. You stole his food. And the animals. Not Get that mention. food in your belly. We all <gasps> Look, he's like, whoa, shit, things. jackpot. Can we take a photo? What's that noise? Oh. Oh, hello. Didn't How see would you, you like there. partner for a quick photo op? Yeah, go on. Come on. ka -ching. Yeah, we're getting good at this. Good squirrels. They're very, very friendly. I mean, I can, like try and walk over them and they don't even move. Look, see. Whee! Whoa! Rangefinder. Okay, is there anything else to say? Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You know what, I just... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so I better get going now. sick right now. I just don't want to listen to loads of dialogue. It's hard to take in. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Yeah, it's a, it's a gift. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. It is, isn't it, you bitch? Where's Nathan? I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. We're not. Um, no way. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. Uh. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Why is it? Why is it saying this from a distance? You look like you have more than a question on your mind. I do. Now talk to Maybe me, woman. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I don't care. Recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. Oh. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Okay, what about if it's beyond science? I like her peace symbol. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. How do you know? I can I go back in time. Reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. 
We were talking about that before you came over. Oh, I'm a mind reader now. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Um, dying animals then. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Blah, blah, blah. Unless you know something I don't. Oh, gosh. Well, that time travel. <laughs> what about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. Yeah, it's just make you the sound like a freak. wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. You can come along Would with you me. Really change time. Not after reading that Bradbury story. <gasps> a sound yeah, sound of thunder. Stand on a butterfly, change away, everything. But it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Yeah, I know that story. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug, and it all can unravel. Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? No, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm just got the flu. Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members... Oh god, the talking never all ends. All the students here feel safe. Oh, come on! Bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? I don't Shut down care. that Vortex Club for a start. <laughs> I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. I mean, I care about Kate, it's extremely but... extremely tasteless oh. given what happened with Kate. Okay, oh god, it just keeps so going. Why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? You know when you just want to play the game? To be honest, and discover he not care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise. But don't be so quick to judge it. Oh, I can't help it. Right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came. I'm a teenager and everyone's out for me. Max. Or in for I me. Love in for me. And Warren and all my they all have it in for me. Here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Well, that's good. I'm Can sorry, I go now? Miss Grant. I, I have to Yay! Get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Oh, thank God. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just not feeling the talking today. I think there was a lot of it in the last episode. Admittedly, we did go see Kate, which was nice, but it's just na 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 and I can't take it all in today. Yeah, um, A Sound of Thunder. I don't know the whole story of the book, but the gist is that in the future, humans have discovered how to go back in time with, like, time travel machines, all that crap. Um, and basically, people can go back in time... And pay for like, um, you know when people go on safari stuff and they go and shoot animals? It's basically like that, but they go back and shoot dinosaurs. But they have to stay on the path thing so they don't accidentally ruin anything in the past and change time. So while this band of hunters are back in time, they're going out to go, I think it's shoot a triceratops or something. A T-Rex suddenly turns up and one of them panics and jumps off the set path and squashes a butterfly. And from that tiny event them going back into their present day in the future has changed everything like politics have changed and different people in power and all this crap so just from one tiny butterfly being killed you know that's why it's called the butterfly effect Alyssa why are you play hard to get when you already hard to want once <laughs> good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells who are but yeah, sorry about that long description. Just in case anyone didn't know what it was. Can we go now? Yeah, let's go. Come on. We've already had like 15 minutes of bloody talking. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. Nah, Chloe now doesn't belong in school. Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. He's too hipster for me. I really don't like Mr. Jefferson. He just rubs me the wrong way. I don't like him. I mean, no one will be that nice. It's all lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Yeah. Don't you? He'd be fun. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. 
No, 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 bad Max. It'll be the one with death all over it. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, that might be a bit extreme. What's this say? Oh, God, it's lagging. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Evan. Love, Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan. Oh, hello. Super Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's room is 111. Kate, you are so awesome. Thank you. Sorry, this chair is really creaky. My husband bought me a new chair, but it's really not very good. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise. Of course I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Happy face. Da, 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 da. Is that loads of messages again? I did all the reading up last. Courtney. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check with you later. Thanks again for the oh, offer. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Yes, but I still want to explore. They have one more meeting left. What? Oh, of course, because the world's ending. Who would steal cat pics? Really? On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. I don't care about the school books. Wait, hang on. Didn't we read this before? This was like episodes ago, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, hello. Could we write something? I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go A. Hang on, don't get him in trouble. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. Wait, what, what did you write? Are you made of copper and tellurium because you're cute? Oh my god. You're so getting him in trouble for that. I'm sure she is. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Oh my lord. Beta Fagler. Do you think we should change that? Because that's kind Remember, of... you're on enemy turf now, Max. I don't think we should keep that up. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Mm, I might leave it and see what happens just for lols. Let's go in anyway. This is where he's in the room anyway. We're like, fuck. Oh, come on. No, you're not. You crazy bitch! She's determined. Determined. Whoa, this room. What the hell? This is like super posh. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. Uh huh. Oh god. Max, I appreciate you standing up for David. I know Chloe didn't like that, but she needs to stand up and stop acting out so much. Except that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you'll get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. David wants to help, but she won't let him. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Ooh, uh so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. Really? That's so cheesy. Like, that's not the sort of thing I'd ever expect him to have. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescotts rule. Well, of course they do. They're rich. They own the town. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Hmm. School is pretentious. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. A teen parent guide to anger management. He is one angry person, isn't he? Let's have a look. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. What the Chloe. fuck? What's happening here? Chloe. What? What is this? I'm so confused. I really hope they were all consenting models. This room is delightful, I have to say. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh shit. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. This is stuff I'd never, ever expect for Nathan to own or listen to or... Oh gosh, he's so weird. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Yeah, pills and wine don't really go well together. 
Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria, hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and as expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious parte favours. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Well, well, hang on, we didn't read the rest. Nathan is... <gasps> Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, this is the video, in it? Look, it's YouTube, oh my god, it's called You Roll. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Sh from Sean to Nathan. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment any time. An appointment to see your mum and dad. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panestates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shit old town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. What? What is this on about? Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. From Christine. Tudo Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your ex exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers and the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you in your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love Dad Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Kiss, 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 Chris. That's quite sweet. You know, I don't understand how she can be his sister. Like, he's an asshole and she's not. But maybe Nathan's not as bad. Maybe he's being bullied by his dad and, like, being moulded into this horrible person. Because from that email, his dad didn't sound nice at all. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Whoa, 100 pills equals $250. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologise for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students would use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. You bastard! I don't want you distracted from school and I'm certain this matters will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Wow, thanks a lot, Principal Wells. Looking out for your, all your students. Bastard. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that wow, suit. Wow, that's a bad suit. Poor Nathan. I almost feel sorry for him. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Right. How much shit has he got? Nathan likes his tortured subjects. These films all have a dark pattern. How can you tell? I can't read them. Oh man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Why has he got a picture of me on the wall? That's kind of freaky. From the looks of it, though, I can't find... Oh, hello. Oh! What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Well, clearly the sofa's been dragged. Pull the sofa. Pull the sofa, you silly bitch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Whoa, what's this? Well, things are getting oh, tense. This little phone. You are mine now. Okay, that's interesting. Right, what? Well, I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes Hang back. Hang on, have we missed anything? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. No, he doesn't. He's he's a Darth. Yes, I would be cool with having this high tech project. Yeah, all right. Blah blah blah. Right, we should really fix this lock, shouldn't we? I think we only got one thing out of there, so... Okay. We did nothing. Nothing at all. Chloe! I fixed stuff and I found things. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? Stuff! This room was clean and creepy. Check this out. 
What is it? Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What is it then? Oh shit. What are you doing in my dorm? How'd you know I was in your dorm? What? Oh no, you mean You're the room. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. I did Stop nothing. Right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Aha, uh -huh, you got pushed back. Max, I got this. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, nice one, Warren. Uh, you are so fucking dead. Oh my god. Get off me, bro. Oh. Jesus Christ. Stop, Warren. Stay out of it. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh God. Stop, Warren. Warren, stop it. Come on. Oh. Oh my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you. You're all dead. Jesus Christ. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Jesus Christ. That's bad. Fucking hell, Warren. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Yeah, you're right, Max. That's why I stopped him. That wasn't right. That's not Warren at all. He's a good man, and I don't want him to get kicked out of the school because of that. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. Give him a kiss for already. For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. That's why I stopped you. Anything like him. Yeah, Nathan that's what no. I said. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. I want him to come. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No, you can come no, with please. us. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, come with us. We have to do this on our own. No! No offense. No! It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out... Anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Is See it just me or has Warren's voice changed? I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. He doesn't yes. sound the same. You are. Or maybe it's just that it's been so long since I've heard his voice I can't remember how it sounded. I'm sure it was Man, squeakier that though. Is so fucking in love with you. He is. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. That's why I stopped now him. Let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Bam chicka wham wham money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Yep, there you let's go. Let's not keep him waiting. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. Is this gonna save? Okay, I'm just going to let that save. Stay safe. Alright, I'm going to leave that episode here because I know that was a lot of talking, but I'm feeling quite sick at the moment. My husband's giving me flu because he's a bastard. No, I love him really. But yeah, that's quite intense. I thought this was going to end up being a really talky episode and then Warren came in and saved our asses. Though maybe I should have let him just carry on beating the shit out of, out of uh, what's his name, Nathan. But then I think Warren would have felt really bad about it. I mean, he felt bad just then, even when I stopped him. So I think my choice was right. I hope that thing I put on the board, on Warren's board, isn't going to get him in, like, trouble. Like, oh, look, he's a girl. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed that episode, please leave a like, because it really helps me out. And I'll see you in whatever I play or talk about next. So, bye-bye.